A young alt-right agitator named Milo Yiannopoulos has announced that he wants to buy 4chan, the controversial message board where internet trolling was born. That would be the same Milo Yiannopoulos who was accused of inciting the movement on Twitter to savage the actress Leslie Jones, star of the new Ghostbusters movie. The actress was so distraught, she ended up closing her Twitter account. In response to the harassment, Twitter permanently banned Milo. Correspondent Ben Bryant caught up with him on a speaking tour in London to find out if he really is the world's biggest asshole. This is Milo Yiannopoulos, web entrepreneur, journalist, internet celebrity, right-wing provocateur, Trump supporter, and self-proclaimed free speech fundamentalist. Hi, how are you? How are you? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, Milo. Milo is an unlikely figurehead for the alt-right, which pleases him tremendously. He came to London to speak at the Young British Heritage Society, a student libertarian group. Please welcome the most fabulous citizen on the internet, the dangerous faggot, Milo Yiannopoulos. When you invite me, you don't just come for the jokes about transgender people, who are, of course, all lovely and wonderful and totally well-adjusted. Um, <laughs> in, in absolutely no way completely fucking mad. <laughs> the left is all of the things that you have been told that it is. It is intolerant. It is profoundly hostile to free speech. Never stop laughing at these people. These people deserve to be laughed at. These people deserve to be ridiculed off their pedestals because they are preposterous. Milo's brand of politically incorrect shock speech has been accused, among other things, of being sexist, Islamophobic, and transphobic. But he's also blamed for inciting his thousands of followers to spew even more offensive views, such as those made against Leslie Jones. To his fans, Milo is a star, and he prepares like one. He invited us to watch as he readied for his appearance that evening. There's no such thing as a freedom not to be abused, and everybody in public life gets mean comments, but only one side of the political divide makes hay out of them, turns them into a sort of currency. Um, it's invariably the left. And I cracked a few jokes on Twitter about Leslie Jones. People kind of went a bit nuts at her, but I'm being expected to be responsible for the 300 million people on Twitter. The reason I got banned is because I've got the wrong politics. And that's fine, Twitter's entitled to do that, it's a private company, but users are going to start to figure it out sooner or later, and they're going to start to give up on the network, because they know that people aren't being treated fairly on there. I don't know why nobody else has the courage to say so, but I do. Um, thanks a lot, thank you, thanks a lot. Oh, I think it's here. I only ever cancel Ubers when it's female drivers. What? I don't want to die. What's the name, please? Milo. What does your idea of a perfect society look like? I would like it to look very much like 1950s America. What, you, what do you think it was like being a gay man in 1950s America? You had a wife and you had kids and you had your sort of like subversive gay life on the side. That sounds pretty fabulous to me. It sounds great. I mean, it's Why do you think gay you people still go to that. public toilets? Why do you think they still go to parks? They don't have to. Why do you think they do that? It's not just convenience. They do it because it's naughty. They do it because it's subversive and dangerous. And they want to recapture that spirit of subversion, that spirit of like of, of naughtiness that was the case up until the 50s and 60s, or maybe maybe later. And you, you say you really, you can understand that I like the illicit thrill, but it's not enough to justify living in a you know homophobic society. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. Well, you've never lived in one. No, that's why I'm saying I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe let's try it. We should move to Baghdad or Raqqa or something. <laughs> I can't take you seriously when you say that. I don't know how anyone can. Why? Because that's obviously not true. Obviously, you wouldn't it's rather live in Baghdad or no, Raqqa. No, that's not obvious. I mean, are you kidding? Have you seen them? My God. I don't know. All the, be all the best sex I've had is with, you know, Arabs and, and people like that who are not supposed to, you know, go there and get, get disowned and, and beaten up by their families if anyone found out. It's fantastic. I, I it's the best, the best hate fucking this. ever. And it's a really important part of my life. Um, but it was a bit early. Universities are pushing all sorts of things about which you are not supposed to resist. Well, I encourage you to resist. I encourage you to resist with comedy, mischief, dissidence, naughtiness, subversion. All of these things win wars. Thank you very much. The role that I play, I would say it's very much like the jester role, let's say in a Shakespeare play, where, you know, it's, it's right. the fool. The kind of false stuff, yeah. Right, and it's only really the fool right. telling the truth, right? And you have to look through the slapstick and the satire and the, and the, and the comedy to realize, actually, that's the smartest person in the room. 
Aren't you just fighting for the right to be an asshole? I think that being an asshole is very important. Um, I think it's very important that we have some. I don't want everyone to be like me, but I think it's important that there are some people like me.